in this video we are going to discuss some of the differences between a private and a public company the first column shows the basis of distinction and the other two shows as to what is applicable to a private and a public company the first point of distinction is based on the number of members or shareholders each can have so you can see that a private company can have a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 50 on the other hand a public company can have a minimum of 7 and a maximum number is not mentioned as it is unlimited the second point of difference is on the basis of the name given to the company a private company will have private limited attached to its name and a public company will have limited written with its name for example LG Electronics Private Limited for private company and Reliance Industries Limited for public company. Another point of difference is with regards to the number of directors each can have and the minimum each can have is clearly visible on the screen as two for private company and three for a public company. The fourth point of distinction is with reference to the buying or subscription of shares. In a private company, only the pre-approved members can buy the shares. No outsiders are allowed to subscribe to the shares, which means that the shares of a private company is not brought into an open market for the public to buy. But the public company actually invites people to buy their shares. The shares are open for purchase in the stock exchange. Moving on to the next point, we are now discussing on the commencement of business. In my earlier video, I had explained that when the process of forming a company is taking place and the registration is in progress, the memorandum of association and the articles of association have to be submitted to the registrar. After checking all these and on satisfaction of documents, the registrar issues a certificate of incorporation. Once this certificate is received by a private company, they can start their business. However, the public company can only start selling shares on the receipt of this certificate. Public company on receiving this document actually starts its progress of getting members and then few further documents have to be submitted and then only a certificate of commencement is issued to them and then the company can start its business. The sixth point of difference is with regards to the transfer of shares. In a private company, since no outsider is allowed entry, there is a restriction on the transfer of shares, whereas in a public company, the transfer of shares is free-flowing. So here we have six differences listed down. There is no doubt that there are many more differences, but this should suffice for a class 9 student.